Alright. <laughs> <laughs> they just wasted up that last time. <laughs> Welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this header into a titanium wrap header like this. And it's a very intricate process. You have to be patient, but I'll show you how to. The materials you're going to need today for this process is obviously your headers, stainless steel, um, ties, header wrap. I chose a good titanium uh, just because it's really, really cool and it's expensive, which is pretty... It doesn't really follow poor man mods, but I don't really care. You need scissors to cut it and um, an exhaust clamp. And if you can zoom in right there, I have the finished products. You can use the exhaust clamp to cut off or tie off your exhaust wrap so it won't come undone. That's the finished product there, so it's beautiful. Okay, the first step you want to do is you want to look at your header and kind of look over the places where the primaries come very close. So obviously, you can't fit header wrap between that gap right there. Um, this header is from BBK, like all of my stuff I buy. It's a 1 and 5 8 inch primary and a 3 inch collector. They're for a male transmission Fox body Mustang only. Um, they'll match right up to that X-pipe that we made in an earlier episode. Um, I'll begin by wrapping the first primary. I'm going, I'm going to wrap it. <laughs> And uh, I'll come down to where any kind of gaps come really close, and I'll stop, and then uh, I'll figure it out from there. First, begin by putting the end of the wrap on all the primaries. Don't worry, I'll cut off all those strings later. Um, you want to wrap it as tight as actually. Um, before we start. Need to do that. Oh no! Because you can't fit a whole coil of header wrap between these primaries. So we begin here. Pin it down to start wrapping. <clears throat> this is what takes forever is just pulling the header wrap through. Does this material require to be moistened? Nope. Okay. Not titanium. Because I know some had a wrap that the wrap I used in my intake required to be wet before you put it on, yeah. so it shrinks and makes a nice seal. But I guess titanium's no, different. No, I think titanium's a lot yeah, different. It is. We, we so we don't care some water. Mm. This is the longest process: is fishing this wrap through each primary. You want to especially wrap the beginning as tight as you can, so it doesn't become undone. And we'll have the exhaust ties to clamp it off just in case it would come loose but really you you could get away without using exhaust ties um when you're wrapping the company that use that makes this wrap is DEI they recommend that you use a quarter inch overlap each time you wrap around um obviously when you're starting up here you want to use a little bit thicker overlap just to give this wrap a lot more strength and hold. And for cosmetic purposes have this little secure anchor underneath so you can't see it in your engine bay. Any mark? Yes. Now it's especially hard to wrap these when your two primaries are coming very close together because you can't fit the wrap between. So you kind of need to work your way around each little tiny little crevice. I was wrapping this and I came to a little barrier. These two primaries have I don't know, maybe a millimeter of clearance between each other and I could wrap this primary separately from this one. But if I wrap this one separately, that is not going to fit two layers of wrap between, so I'm going to connect these two and wrap them all the way down to the collector. Okay. <laughs> Alright, since I'm wrapping these two primaries together, this primary up here, um, I'm going to wrap this 
it's going to come all the way down come down to here and I'm going to stop and cut it off and tie it off so then this wrap will cover that anchor and when you're wrapping your headers you only want to have one anchor visible and that's the collector you don't want to have anchors all over the place because it's going to look like a mess and it's going to show your craftsmanship is absolutely terrible people won't respect you and then you're just a loser so which I'm not so <laughs> Remember that guy at Vance yesterday? Yeah, there's a definitive line out beyond my headlights that I can't see. It's like you can see where the light is, but as soon as that line's done, you can't see anything over. <laughs> How do you fix that? <laughs> How do you fix that? That's what he asked me. <laughs> I go, I don't know, angle your headlights a little higher? <laughs> I don't know what you would do. Okay, I am done wrapping this primary. Um, it's time to cut this off, anchor it, and then have this wrap cover up over that anchor so it's going to look nice and pretty. Oh, you're not stupid. Titanium wrap, believe it or not, you can cut with paper scissors. Because that's how amazing it is. Is that amazing or is that bad? That you can cut titanium wrap with scissors. Oh, good point. <laughs> Shows how much titanium is in there. <laughs> <laughs> These are going on a Honda, right? Um, yes, my Honda with the 5.0. Cool. It was a rare engine option, oh. only available in 93. Look at that, how it picks it right up. Nice. I can't wait to hear it. Oh my god, it's gonna sound like a thunderstorm. American horsepower. American. Yeah. But I don't wanna waste this stuff, it's $20 a roll. Where'd you get it at, Advance? Yeah. Okay, I, I've come down to a gap that I can't feed this still, so I'm just gonna cut it and anchor it. I'm gonna wrap the rest of these primaries and I'll probably get down to about here where all these primaries meet down at the collector where you cannot fit any kind of thing between these gaps. So I'll have these two wraps and then I'm going to get wrap and wrap the collector and it's going to be nice and slick looking. Alright. Okay, I have all my collectors wrapped up. Now it's time to cover all these anchors with this wrap. Hopefully I have enough left. It's not going to cover the whole header, unfortunately. But it's at least it's going to cover up these anchors and it's going to secure it. So next, now when you secure it, what you can do is you don't even need one of these stainless steel ties. You can just wrap over what you've already secured. I'll show you. It's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough left, but it's fine. Okay, I don't have any wrap left, so I'm going to have to end it here. And it just wouldn't be worth it to buy another $20, 20 roll to cover that much up. And this isn't in the engine bay anyway, so it's not going to be hurting any kind of heat dissipation. But that's what it should look like. Yes. Okay, I've completed wrapping this header. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough to wrap this. And I don't have any rolls left because I bought six total rolls for two headers. And I did overlap my wrapping on this one a little bit more than that one. But that will result in a tighter wrap. So it's going to make these things last a lot longer. And it's going to dissipate more heat. And, um... That basically concludes it, so thanks for watching.